Hey guys, how are you today? Thanks for joining me for another scary horror Halloween movie card. Although this movie is pretty, pretty sweet actually, and pretty cute. So if you're not a fan of the gory cards and all that good stuff, this one um, you may like. So this is Hocus Pocus, and I'm just quickly stamping this, and then you can see a lot better. So give me just one quick second, and it will be to where you can see a lot better. Okay, that looks good. All right, so let me pull out this. We're not actually doing a card today. We are doing an envelope. And um, I, I like to just stick my cards in cute little envelopes as well. And I want to do a second Hocus Pocus card um, that's going to match, um, match the, uh, what do you call that? you know, a card that's going to match the envelope, basically. And then it'll be mailed in a, another envelope. So, I don't know. I really get into it. All right. So, um, Hocus Pocus is probably, I don't know if it's my favorite Halloween movie, but it's pretty darn close. Um, so, this is from Chocolate Baroque Stamps, this here. And these are from um, Kindred, Kindred Stamps. Yeah, that's what it's called. And, um... Anyway, um, so this came unmounted, but this was just too cool to pass up because it's a black flame candle. Like, who lit the black flame candle? And a virgin actually had to light the black fl flame candle for the Sanderson sisters, the local legend there in Massachusetts, um, came back to life. So I think that'll be fun. Um, anyway, and that was Danny. A new family had moved to uh, to Salem, and he met a girl named Allison. He had a cute little sister. I can't remember her name right now, but she was cutie pie. And um, anyway, so he kind of heard of these this local legend, the Sanderson sisters, and all that stuff, and the black flame candle and whatever. And um, but anyway, he didn't believe it. He kind of just passed it off as some superstition. And um, I'll go ahead and give this. A yellow tint too um, but anyway so he he starts talking to this girl and he's like well take me up there take me up there her mother used to work at the the museum so they went in and of course guess who lit the black flame candle the young virgin named Danny <laughs> so um, so all heck begins to break loose and they begin to come back and um, they wake up the book the book and um, I should have put the book on there too. Anyway, we'll, we'll put that on the card. Um, let's see. I'll just go ahead and make this part of the candle yellow, I guess. I don't really know. I don't remember that part of the movie. I just remember the black flame part pretty well. So, anyway. Um, I guess we could put some whatever around that. Okay. Um, so, this is just going to be some kind of light colored smoke or whatever coming from the pumpkin. He's pretty cool looking. I don't have my pumpkins out yet. I have not even bought any pumpkins. I feel like I'm so behind this Halloween. I'm usually, usually got it kind of together, but not this year. Um, kind of been focusing on taco and that kind of stuff, so it's kind of cut into my Halloween time there, but that's totally okay. I'd much rather spend it with her. Um, thank you guys so much for your sweet thoughts and asking about her and your well wishes for her and all that good stuff. Um, she's kind of having a slow day today. She's moving very, very slowly, but she's she's hanging in there. So it's, that's makes me happy that she's just doing that. So, okay. Um, i trying to remember their names. One of them is Winifred Sanders. That might be her. Um, I know, well, that's Bette Midler in, in the movie. And um, Sarah Jessica Parker, and I can't remember her name, but um, whatever her name is, I know she has some black hair or dark hair in the movie. So we are going to do that for her here. I'll try to stay in the lines. I'm using this brush art marker, um, not brush art. What's it called? Zig, uh, real brush marker, and the bristles on there are just super bendy, bendy, bendy. Um, but anyway, so they have to all get together and figure out how to get the Sanderson sisters um, 
not to be like released or whatever officially. Um, if they make it till midnight on Halloween, then they're free again. They get to live again. Um, so they have to take care of business before that. Um, they meet one of the boyfriends who's like a rotting corpse basically and he's after them a little bit and um, this is Binks the cat and Binks can can talk quite a bit and things like that helps them out. He was um, one of the witches turned him into a cat um, so he'd have to live forever basically. So okay. Um, anyway, so they helped him get released and all that good stuff. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and do it this all red because she is, um, I think, dressed in red for the movie. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to watch it again to be, to be sure, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, Binks. Binks does talk. And uh, I would like to have a talking cat. But I think animals do talk if you really listen. You know, they have their own little unique personalities and all that stuff. So that's pretty neat. But um, I go by and talk to all the pets. I always have, like, in the pet store and things like that. I always feel so bad for them in there. There used to be more pet stores in the malls and things like that. I'm kind of glad those are gone. I thought those were sort of cruel. I don't know. Um... I know I don't mean to knock anybody, but I would never buy a pet, I don't think, um, just because there's just so many that need good homes and things like that, that I would just take kind of a rescue animal, I believe. So, but that's just me. Um, but if you want to start breed of a dog or something like that, you know, that, that works. But um, anyway, I'm definitely an animal lover, just of all kinds. Um, Here's a little dog in the playground actually today. He was so, so cute. And I just know that he was a stray. And I went out this evening and I thought, oh my gosh, like don't bring him home, don't bring him home. <laughs> but he wasn't out there anymore. So, but I thought if he was out there, just gonna have to bring him to the house just to make sure he's like safe and fed and maybe give him a flea treatment and you know, things like that. But try to find him a home. But he was not there, so. No worries, I guess. All right, give her just a little bit of red eyeshadow right there. I find myself kind of wandering around um, the uh, <laughs> any pet store and just having a whole conversation with animals. Boyfriend thinks I'm crazy. Actually, I went to the dentist um, yesterday, got a good report, yay. And um, I just had a cleaning or whatever, so it's no big deal, but um, Oh, you know what? I think that's purple. Just the inside is red. Um, but anyway, uh, I was looking at the fish and talking to the fish. I was thinking about Shipmate. Hey, Shipmate, if you're watching. And um, he just he has a new channel called, I believe it's the Fish Logs. Um, I'll have to check that. Um, but you guys should check out his channel. He'll probably comment on this video at some point. And um, so check out his his channel I've learned a lot about fish um, not really a fish person exactly I've only had like two in my life I don't know that much about them but I like looking at them it's very soothing to watch I feel like and um, he has new guppies and I think those are way cuter than his um, the first fish it was a blue something I don't know but anyway I like the guppies better and the gut the word guppies it just sounds cute so um, but anyway, he, he's taught me a lot about um, fish and doing fish stuff in general that I just didn't know. Um, I used to have a friend. Her mother was super, super into her, her tanks and aquariums, and she had just one whole room for it. It was really cool. It was like walking in. It was like a miniature version of what the aquarium is now, I guess, if you take a tour of the aquarium. I just loved walking in that room. So, But anyway... Um, but check out his channel, and uh, if you're like me, comment below if you talk to fish sometimes as you're walking by. I feel like it's rude not to talk to them. I really do. Like, how you doing? They seem to look at you. So, anyway. Um, Alright, so I think she was in green, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, hopefully. 
I don't know. I'm not sure what color will make her middle part there. Maybe just red to go with her hair. Um, what time are we on? Not too bad. I don't want this video to take forever. Um, but it is almost Friday. It's Thursday night as you are. Well, as I'm doing this, I don't know what day you'll see it. But Thursday night at this point. I cannot wait for the weekend. I just want to collapse. Going out in the middle of the week, like going to the dentist and things, and then I ran lots of errands and things afterwards and then get home till late. And But you want to just do things, you know, while you're out and just get it over with and that kind of thing. And then you kind of regret that in the morning. But, um, so I would like to rest a little bit this weekend, but we're probably going out again. So that's probably not going to happen too much. We'll see. Okay, so let's let's give her a little bit darker red. This it's called strong red. If I can get the the lid off, that is. All right, guys. So this basically wraps up my hocus pocus envelope. Um, I may do another card soon, and uh, we shall see. Oh, Binks the cat. Wait a minute. Let's give him just a little gray. He's actually black in the movie, but. If I color him black, you're not going to be able to see him, so we'll just make him gray. Um, and he gets saved at the end, too, and, like, turned back into a boy, and he gets to, like, run to his sister, and they can reunite and whatever on the other side. So, cool beans. All right. So, this is the Sanderson Sisters. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.